what's up guys dead back again with another video today kind of finally out the the beginner's crash course of destiny 2 uh we're going to be taking a look deeper into the tower uh all the vendors that you're gonna have to see or want to see that you're gonna interact with what they have what they don't have so enjoy if you know anybody who's starting to start trying to start destiny go ahead and you know show them the videos go ahead and click that sub button up there uh twitch channel we stream almost every day down here um and yeah go ahead and enjoy love you guys as a as soon as you spawn into the tower up here on the right you're going to see master raul basically what he is there for is to decrypt prime engrams for you what this does is it drops uh items that are higher level light than you are uh whether it be weapons or armor or anything like that in his set uh at a light level that's more according to what you're so definitely come to him and decrypt those prime engrams what you can also do with master raul is basically recycle your shaders to get legendary shards uh, legendary shards are used for upgrading gear, spending at Xur, as well as a multitude of other things. So this is a resource that you're basically going to want to keep stacking as much as possible. The next vendor that we're going to go look at is Banshee44, also known as the Gunsmith. Uh, you can do a multitude of things with him. He has the rep bar up at the top, as you'll see, the bar that constantly is, you know, is half filled right here. Uh, we're going to fill it up by increasing the reputation with some of these materials that we have. Every time you level that bar all the way up, it'll give you a piece of loot according to your light level that you currently are. So see, I had a 984 drop and it gave me a sniper rifle out of it. Uh, he is the gunsmith, so he does drop mostly guns. Underneath, he'll have two weeklies and a bunch of dailies that you can also grab as well. These are good for building up rep, giving you XP. Uh, they can give you cores for enhancing your gear as well as upgrade materials as well. So make sure to grab a lot of these as you go throughout the world all of his bounties are weapon based you can also buy mods from him that you know are on a rotation uh he also sells upgrade modules for you as well so that way you can upgrade your gear for a hefty price uh if you can't find these in the world this is a good way to quickly upgrade your gear if you have the money and resources for it next is the enhancement prism which is another form of upgrade material as you get higher gear or as you get higher in the levels you will need these enhancement prisms and for the last two that you'll need you'll need ascendant shards uh these cost a hefty price but these will also master work all your weapons once they get up to that level nine so definitely if you are hurting for these and want to master work a certain weapon be be prepared to pay uh the vault is going to be a very important part of your destiny experience this is where all of your guns and armor go that you can't physically carry your item slots on your person are limited um, so be sure you'll be visiting the vault if you have the Google Chrome add-on or the destiny 2 app You can also access your vault from those which makes it a lot simpler. So you don't have to come back to the tower every time Next we're gonna look at Lord Shax, uh, your crucible bender uh, He works much of the same way as the gunsmith with his reputation up at the top You can fill that up as well you get an engram for about your light level. He'll drop weapons and armor so in his with his crucible weapons and armor as well uh as the same as the gunsmith he has bounties that you look at two weeklies and then a bunch of dailies and underneath is going to be the quest logs that he can give you this will give you either emblems they'll give you shaders they'll give you ghost shells or you can buy crucible boons as well uh if you pop one of these in a crucible match it gives a chance for everybody in your group to get uh, an extra reward at the end of it so if you want to be a nice kind and gentle man or woman be sure to pick some of these up pop them in crucible matches give everybody a little bit of extra love now of course we're a gonna go pray as we are titan mains at our guardian games totem and then we're going to talk to uh zavala as well he is the pve vendor much like shax he operates in the same manner but with strikes and nightfalls as well all of his gear all of his bounties are all geared towards picking up stuff uh that you can get for strikes so if you're more of a PVE focused player, definitely go speak to him before you go do any of your strikes, pick up those bounties, pick up those quests, level up that loot and be on your merry way. Each one of these quests down here below has a chance of giving you a weapon or a piece of armor as well. So definitely take a look if any of those catch your fancy or you're just looking to complete the collections tab, go give those, make sure you get those done. Most of them are pretty grindy though, so be prepared. The next vendor is the most controversial one. It's called the Eververse. This is your real money transaction house. 
Uh, you also decrypt your luminous engrams here, which basically give you shaders or a ship or a sparrow. You'll get those from the season pass. You can buy things either for silver, which costs real money, or for bright dust, which you can get from completing bounties. The bright dust section is down here at the bottom. As you can see, we're buying both a ship and an emote as well. Uh, silver costs uh, obviously real money. A thousand silver is basically $10. Uh, so you can get that in your local equivalent store, whether you be on uh, the Xbox store, PSN, or the Steam store as well. But this is your microtransaction shop. So you can buy armor pieces, you can buy shaders, you can buy uh, ornaments for your legendaries here as well. And they are split out per season. Uh, what's hot right now, what's on sale, legacy stuff as well. So you can pick up whatever is there for your real cash. This is the man you're gonna go see the most, the Postmaster. Uh, he's pretty self-explanatory. Anything that you can't carry gets shipped back to the Postmaster. So make sure you go visit him every once in a while. You'll get a notification if you have too much that he can't carry anymore and you need to go see the Postmaster to either claim that stuff or break it down if you don't want it. Uh, I tend to have a habit of just breaking my blues down and then I don't touch any purples or shaders. So I constantly am stuck full of stuff. Uh, if you are a hoarder like I am, it's just a little bit more inventory space. Uh, next, we're going to come all the way to the other side over here. Uh, this is where Saint 14 is going to be at. He is your trials vendor rep. It is a bit of a hike to get over to him, but for every weekend you can come over here and you can get your trials bounties and everything like that from him. So yeah, there's basically nothing for him right now, but that's if you're doing trials, that's where you're going to go. And next we have Amanda Holiday. Uh, she's kind of useless. She sells some green ships. She sells, she, this is where you can go and pick up the quests for all the legacy, legacy story stuff. Um, but yeah, she's, she's, unless you're going to go back and do the story stuff, you know, I, there's not much of a point to go to her unless there's a quest that specifically tells you to talk to her. So now we're going to cut over to the other side of the tower. These are going to be where your last, uh, three people that, you know, you're going to be seeing more often than not are going to be there's a lot of secrets in the tower so definitely take your time to explore there's a lot of uh hidden games that you can do there's there's a lot of uh secret spots that you can get to uh some of them are required for exotic quests so definitely take a look uh as always i have to uh pray to the sweeper bot because sweeper bot is the best boy and we're going to continue on our way over here first we're going to talk to ikora um she isn't doing anything right now she's just somebody that you can talk to she was very heavily involved in the story stuff at the end of, uh, you know, previously in Destiny 2. Uh, currently, she's not really doing much, though, so we're just going to keep going on our merry way. And we're going to go talk to Hawthorne. She is the clan's leader. So if you're in a clan and you guys do stuff together, such as do Crucible or Gambit or Strikes or Raids, you'll be able to get tiered loot from this as well. That's basically around your light level. Uh, it's very beneficial to actually be in a clan. We also have our own clan in the Discord channel. So if you wanted to join up, go ahead and hop in the Discord and join so we can all do stuff together. You can also pick up raid banners here, which both fill up your super and your heavy ammo in uh, raid encounters. Um, also, you can pick up all these clan related quests as well, which basically involve you doing certain things with multiple people as well. So uh, if you are in a clan, make sure you pick those up if you're doing stuff with your clan mates and get some free loot out of that. The last vendor that we are going to go see is the Drifter. He is the Gambit vendor. Uh, also down here is my friend Concubar, who uh, I might want to shout out is kind of half the reason why we are making this uh, this series of videos. Um, Conch is very new to Destiny 2 as well after stopping just pretty much like I did. So, um, you know, shout out to my boy Conch. <laughs> so we're going to go talk to the vendor. First, we're going to uh, do some teabagging in front of Conch. And he basically acts like Lord Shax and Zavala as well, where you can buy uh, bounties from him, both for Gambit and Gambit Prime, as we talked about in the last episode, as well as pick up quests and get his packages if you uh, level up his rep as well. So definitely come check him out. If you're looking at doing a day full of Gambit at the time of recording this, uh, you get double the infamy for it. So definitely uh, if you are watching this in the week of the 19th, 
uh, go check it out and make sure you're banging out some gambit so you can get all these uh, different packages as well and so that is it for the tower everybody thank you guys for joining me on this video uh, this is another like I said one of the last video of the basics of destiny um, so if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below uh, we I do look at them I do read all of them I will be answering them um, also easiest way to get in touch with me is either follow on Twitter at Nedley TV or join the discord uh, link for that is also down below we do stream every day on twitch.tv slash nedley tv a lot of destiny is being played there and then we do some community nights and we do some sunday fun day stuff so come out there for a good time uh, we have done this all full time which is why we're getting more videos out every day as well as more streams out at different times much longer as well so it's been super fun thank you guys for watching this is going to conclude the tower uh yeah like i said Go and explore, talk to the vendors, get all your stuff, get all your bounties, make sure you do that. And I will see you guys star side. Have a good one. Bye. Blah.